Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and today we are going to benchmark the Samsung Galaxy J2. So Samsung Galaxy J2 uh, is a budget smartphone which is priced 8499 in India and it comes with uh, a 4.7 inch uh, QHD display. It's powered by an Exynos uh, quad-core chipset with 1GB RAM. So we have the device with us. So this uh, also comes with 8GB internal storage. Uh, it's a 960 by 540 pixel display. So device does not have great specs when compared to the competition so we'll see how far the benchmarks goes on. Uh, so we'll uh, test with Antutu, Quadrant, Nenamark, Velamo and the multi-touch app. So let's start off with Antutu. So now we have the Antutu benchmark score that is 21747. Uh, the values are lower than what we saw on the uh, Redmi 2 Prime as well as the Euphoria both having scores of uh, about 23 to 24k uh, range in the Antutu test. Now let's move on to the Quadrant test. Uh, so that's the next test. So the quadrant result is 9192 again pretty much lower than what we saw on the U40 and Redmi 2 Prime both having scores of above 14k so this is pretty lower almost uh, 5 to 6k lower than uh, uh, the both these devices uh, again uh, U40 and Redmi 2 Prime are priced uh, lower than uh, the Samsung Galaxy J2. Now let's move on to the Nena Mark test. Here we are getting a score of 59.4 fps that's pretty high score when compared to uh, the euphoria and redmi 2 prime both were around the 54 55 uh, fps mark so this is uh, pretty impressive from uh, the j2 so that's one area where the j2 scores over the other two devices so next step uh, we have the velamo browser test as well as a metal test coming up So the Chrome browser result is 1675 again uh, considerably lower than uh, the Euphoria which was 1991. Now let's uh, do the metal test. So the metal score is 847 slightly lower than what we saw on the Euphoria which was at 880. So uh, now we have done all the results, uh, we have done all the benchmarks and now we have, uh, we'll test the uh, multi-touch capabilities of this device. So we have the multi-touch app. So let's see uh, how many um, point multi-touch this device supports. So there you go, this device uh, supports uh, 5 point multi-touch. Uh, that is again uh, similar to the Euphoria which supports 5 point and the Redmi 2 Prime supports 10 point multi-touch. So overall you would say the benchmark scores are lower than what we saw on the Redmi 2 Prime and the U Euphoria which are priced lower than these devices. The main difference being uh, the display is just a QHD panel and also it has uh, 1 GB RAM when compared to 2 GB RAM on the other two devices. So that's all guys with the benchmarks of the Samsung Galaxy J2. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.